So guys, I'm here to talk about this light. This is the 100 watt light. This is the Zion CX100, which is the CD Peer. That's how they pronounce it. That's how they pronounce it, right? I hope I'm saying it right. CD Peer. That's that's how that's the name of the. And Zion sent me this light along with this Bowens mount adapter, which yo put together, you can get some amazing quality. So let's go. <laughs> All right, so guys, today we have a light. It's very new, right? Uh, it is. Oh, it is right here. Check this. Check this out. This is me. Yo, I don't know what they pronounce this. Sin Pier CX100. You get me? It's a 100 watt light, which is portable. You can actually charge it via type c and if you want you know dc power you can actually plug in a dc cable in it you get me all right so i'll actually test out today in this place and see what we can accomplish now scissor on camera right now but i'm gonna get him in front of the camera after this because i'm actually gonna shoot the interview you get me and i have quite a few stuff with this as well what exit oh all right so based on the fact of how this light looks right now so you're wondering like how do you connect it to a bow and so on so zion sent me all of these stuff right so this is a boeing's mount adapter all right so all you need to do clamp this light on all right and you have it that's it and i'm going to use a softbox also from Zion. Yo. Well, based on the space, I think this is going to be a, a nice softbox for this space because it's not too big, not too small. So I have to test out the 100 watt because I don't even see any power cable out, out here. So that should be a good thing. So I'm going to put this on here. And make it like this. But then I'm going to get the light stand. No, it's not. I don't turn. I don't. All right, so I don't turn it on as it. So, so if you want to turn it on, right? The instruction is even <laughs> on here. So one of the one of the good thing about this is like so this is the power bank for it, right? And then you have the instruction on how to turn it on. Single press and then continuous press and then you see the light option goes here. So this is where you actually see the amount of power that you have in the light, right? Come on it. Oh fuck, hold on it. Single press. And then so boom. Like yeah, they turn on. So this is the knob that you use to control intensity, intensity and you have temperature. Alright, so let me turn it down a bit. So it's turned down.
All right, guys, so I'm back home, and trust me, this light is very ideal. I must say, like, using it on that shoot day, well, this is like a couple of weeks from that shoot day, to be honest. So using it from that shoot day is pretty good. So as it states, this is a 100 watt, right? This is a Cine Pier, or a Cine Pier. I don't know how they actually pronounce it, right? So this is a really cool light. It's actually lightweight. <laughs> you get me? It's not that heavy, right? You have uh, another version, right? Which is one of I think is what I think that's the Molus 100, which you can actually add a battery pack to it. But with this, it comes with a battery pack. So I was using it for about 30 minutes at 100 brightness, and um, I never really expected it to you know die in like using it at full brightness. But yo, I mean. It's a 100 watt. Yeah, so I was using that full brightness, and yo, it it really it really got the got certain things done. to get me? So, for example, if you're doing like a run and gun shoot, right? You're moving from different different locations. You can actually charge it up via USB Type C, you know, from like a VMO battery or even a power bank. You get me? But I'm sure that there's a way to like attach like a VMO battery to this via Type C, of course, right? Because the only two main power supply is the type c and the dc input which is right here so you have the type c and the dc input right beside each other you get me so you have both knobs right here one is for brightness and one is for the intensity which so one is for the brightness one is for the intensity which you can use with ease and we have a bones mode adapter we just put it in like this So as you can see, it is as you can see, it is very connected safely. So I like the idea of how this is really with the adapter because like instead of having the weight, all the weight is actually going on the adapter itself and not on the light. So it makes it pretty safe and secure. And you have three, I think this is quarter inch female. You get me can, can screen. Um, anything that you want that you mount you have so you have two you have two mounting points that is right under here which is really good you can you know, mount it up on a light stand if you want like in the ceiling because it is really light and because you have this adapter you can mount anything that you want and it that supports a Boeing's mount yo this light is really cool so one of the key things about this light is that it comes with a fan inside so there's no need to worry about like overheating and i don't think the fan is that loud let me turn it on and so this light can go from 2.7k kelvin to 6.5k kelvin so if you want warm or cool this light got you going it's a bit bright right now yeah this is it's a bit bright really good light really good light per se yeah so this is a really good light yo i really like how sleek it is and the fan doesn't even comes on at the same time. It's taking a while to come in. So it's in. This is what the fan sounds like. Yo, the fan, it can barely hear it. Trust me, it can barely hear it. So let me turn this thing off. The instruction to turn it on is right here. So you can never have an issue with turning it on. So guys, if you like this video, like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you again in another video peace